So, we live in a time where we have had a resurgence of animated movies. Now, for the longest time, animated movies outside of Pixar and Disney had just kind of gone the, the way of not sort of disappearing, but just not being kind of the big box office guarantors that it used to be for cinema back in the early days of film. But of course, over the last couple of years, we had movies like the Spider-Verse films. This year, we will be getting Transformers 1, along with a Lord of the Rings animated movie that we just got a trailer for. It looks amazing. We also had that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie that was animated. We have a resurgence of animated films that are also along with Pixar and all that stuff. So in this video, I just want to break down a bunch of franchises that I think should get the Spider-Verse treatment, to get the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles treatment, the Transformers 1 treatment, and get a unique animated film that separates itself from the rest of the franchise and acts as its own thing and also a big cinematic events like its live action counterparts. So I got seven for you here today. I tried to be a little creative with some of them. So yeah, let's get right into it. First up is Nightmare on Elm Street. Now I wanted to throw one of these slasher horror films in here and I really could have picked any of them. Friday the 13th, I think could work really, really well. Halloween, I feel like that could be the best direction to take that franchise since they've milked the live action aspect of it to death. But I would love to see a really well done slasher film in the animated region. I think Nightmare on Elm Street is a franchise and a title and IP that they really haven't done anything with in a long, long time. And I do think at some point we're going to get some kind of live action, you know, remake of this. It just feels like inevitable that that's going to happen at some point. But I think something like this could work really well as an animated horror film. And horror and animation is hard to pull off. Of course, Japan does it all the time, but here in America, we just don't do it. We don't really even try. But to do kind of like a big, weird, mind fuck, kind of like you're doing mushrooms, you're in this dream world in animation with Freddy Krueger and horror and also just kind of just rambunctious nonsense you usually get in these Friday the 13th movies with the violence and just the character of Freddy Krueger, who he is and how loud and out there he is. This movie could be kind of a weird horror animated inception. It could be something that's very different from the rest of the franchise and very different from the other films in this genre that we have gotten because you're able to do it as an animated. I would be very, very interested to see Nightmare on Elm Street resurrected as an animated. Planet of the Apes. Now this is a franchise that definitely doesn't need to go animated because it's doing damn well as a live action. We just had Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, which did fairly well at the box office and was a critical success. And it seems like we are going to be getting the two follow-up movies in that trilogy to complete this middle trilogy of what is eventually going to be a nine film saga. So good for you guys. You guys are doing good with the Planet of the Apes movies. But I think it could work really cool as an animated. And when I say Planet of the Apes has an animated movie, I don't mean something that relates to the Matt Reeves universe we are currently living in in these new films. I mean something that is closer to the original, original Planet of the Apes movie that takes place thousands of years after the fall of humanity and the rise of the apes. I think setting a movie, an animated movie, in that time period where you can get really, really, really weird and do some crazy shit could make for an awesome movie, especially if it has its own unique sort of art style and animation style. I think this is a franchise that would lend itself perfect to animation, and you could have this weird dystopian future ran by apes and do a great movie within that. Number five is Batman. Now this one's pretty, pretty damn obvious. It worked for Spider-Man. It has worked for Batman in television. Let's bring him to cinema, to the movies, as an animated movie. We actually have concept art from a Batman Beyond animated movie that was at some point in development, and apparently it's not anymore. That image and all of those concept art images that we had gotten look brilliant. Although it does really just kind of look like Spider-Verse, but with Batman... What's wrong with that? Can you imagine the Spider-Verse animation done with a darker Batman Beyond type vibe? That would be incredible. This one feels like it is inevitable. After those concept images came out, which were definitely probably leaked by somebody in the studio that wants to get the movie made, kind of like the Deadpool situation. This just feels like something that if we don't get it in the next few years, we will get it in like the next decade. It's gotta happen, especially with the success of Spider-Verse, with Batman being DC's biggest property and probably wanting to try to replicate what Sony has done with the Spider-Man universe, I could 110% see them making this film at some point, hopefully sometime soon. And number four is Frankenstein. And this is really just kind of all of those Universal Monsters properties, because they've been trying to make this Universal Monsters universe, cinematic universe, for years now. Of course, you had the Dark Universe with the Mummy, and they had all these other characters, and that all got canceled. If you're going to do some kind of concept like that, they should do it 
in animation because these characters are dark they're very grim dark and they can be very kind of noir and really creepy and you could set the pictures in different time periods and have their own animation styles that are more in line with the times that they're set in and that's why i say frankenstein because i could feel it i could imagine it in my head a frankenstein movie that is animated and i know we've gotten a ton of frankenstein movies we're getting like two in the next couple years we're getting a guillermo del toro one we're getting one made by maggie gyllenhaal there's just so many frankenstein we even had lisa frankenstein so is there enough room to make an animated frankenstein why not if we're gonna be making skibbity toilet directed by michael bay why not have an animated frankenstein movie anything can be made and number three is mad max now Listen, Mad Max should stick to live action. It should. But unfortunately, all of you people out there, all of you, I'm talking all of you, you people didn't see Furiosa. Not, not a single one of you, apparently, because that movie bombed. It absolutely bombed, despite being one of the best movies of the year. One of the best movies of the decade so far. None of you saw it. So guess what? That planned Mad Max movie, the one that was going to be the finale of the franchise and be the final movie in Frank Miller's Mad Max universe, we don't get it now. Great job, guys. Go watch your... Go watch Twisters for the 15th time, because Glenn Powell, isn't he just so hot? But if they're going to eventually make this Mad Max movie at this point, I feel like the only way to do it would be an animation. And I would like to see with Frank Miller, having made almost every Mad Max movie different and every single one feeling like its own sort of thing, maybe he could do this final Mad Max movie as an animated film and really try to do something different and special within that genre. I think that might be the direction to go since he's never going to get the money or the budget to make Mad Max Fury Road 3, technically. It's like the end of this new trilogy. So maybe he could do it as animation it's a little bit cheaper but you know what i blame all of you for frank miller being in this position you stupid sons of bitches and number two is harry potter hell yeah harry potter should be an animated movie and it should not be an hbo max series who in their right minds is at warner brothers saying this is what we need to do with harry potter we need to remake it as a series it's the most obvious disaster in the history of t it's going to be a disaster probably i hope i'm not wrong i don't want it to be good because i love the movie so much and i think it's an absolute disaster to make these films but if you're going to do something with harry potter that's not the TV series and not more Fantastic Beast movies and not other spin-offs to the movies that we have already gotten. I would love to see an animated show that is not retelling the story from the books that we've already seen in the films and we've already seen in the books. No, we should get Harry Potter the Marauders. A tale of what happens before Harry Potter. And no, I don't mean Fantastic Beast before. I mean like right before when Voldemort rose and the Marauders, Harry's father, the First Order of the Phoenix, all that shit. People have wanted the movie for years. Does not seem like we're getting the movie because HBO is too busy recreating the same exact story that we had already seen instead of making the movies that the people actually want to watch. But you know what? Maybe they could do it as an animated thing. Maybe they could do it as like a two-season animated show, kind of bring the whole thing together, connect it to the movies. That would be so awesome. I think people would be so down for that. People would be so excited for it. And we're probably never going to get it because HBO, Warner Brothers, you guys are dumb. And the number one is Indiana Jones. Yes, baby. This is by far the most obvious one. Why is that? They cannot make a good live-action Indiana Jones movie in the 21st century. It just has not happened yet. Of course, you had Indy 4 and Indy 5, which came out last year, which were both disasters of films, and it does not seem like Harrison Ford's going to be picking up the hat again. It does seem almost inevitable, though, that at some point we will get a reboot, an Indiana Jones movie with a new actor playing Indy. But before that happens, I have a better idea. How about we make an animated movie about Indiana Jones, a younger Indiana Jones, Starring Harrison Ford. He can do the voice acting. He can't be young again, but he can talk young again. And you could do an incredible animated movie with this character. There are so many great stories you could tell with Indy, and there are so many interesting places you could take him. Of course, you have the video game coming out, which is proving that you could take this character into different sort of mediums for art and mediums for storytelling. And if that game works out, I think it'll be proof that an animated film could really work out. And you can have a true last hurrah for Harrison Ford. That's not him getting outclassed by Phoebe Waller because the writers thought for some reason we wanted to see a drunk, sad, miserable Indiana Jones. Great job, Kathleen Kennedy. But that would be my number one pick, Indiana Jones. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe for more. Turn on notifications. I will see you guys in the next one.